Puyo Puyo Tetris 2! you said. My powers are meant to serve the world. <laughs> In that case, there's only one thing to do. We have to go to them. Just sing at the top of my lungs. Hmm. Actually, come to think of it, as great as peace is, it's actually kind of boring. It'd be more fun if something crazy and over the top happened. Like, if all my friends just came bursting out of the sky. <laughs> oh, but that's nonsense. Something like that would never happen on such a peaceful day, right? Huh? Oh my! What's happening? I think someone's bursting out of the sky! Ouch! Where am I? BB! Ah, well, can't say I expected something like this. Um, hey, Mr. Tight clothes, skydiver? Are you okay? Pee pee! Oh, hey there, little yellow guy! Uh, yeah, I'm fine, thanks. <clears throat> Captain's report. We've been summoned here by the Keeper of Dimensions. X. We appear to have crash landed. Done so right in front of a young girl with unusual hair. Is he reporting to that yellow ball? Hey, you seem like you're doing all right. Oh, hang on, haven't we met before? You know, I was actually thinking the same thing. T. Oh, glad to see you were able to land safely. Whoa! Hey, you with the weird outfit. I was just about to remember something, but you crashed so hard you made me forget again. You look kind of familiar yourself, now that I think about it. But enough distractions. I've got to figure out what's going on. Between this guy with the super tight clothes and this yellow fluff nugget... How the heck am I supposed to process what's going on? I'm sorry, but there's no time to explain. Ringo, T, I know this is sudden, but I need you two to battle. Okay, sure. It's just like that old saying goes. When things don't make sense, battle until they do. <laughs> That's gotta be why you want us to battle, right? Exactly. Ah. Of course. Whenever a problem presents itself, the only solution is to battle. Pee -pee 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 -pee! Hey, you're pretty sharp. Well, you said it best yourself. Now, are you ready? Let's do this. Puyo Puyo time! 
Tetris time. It's on! Huh? He doesn't play Puyo Puyo? She doesn't play Tetris? But that's... Oh no, we're starting!
we were still able to battle even though he was using blocks instead of Puyo's. Huh, and I wasn't half bad myself. What were those squishy blobs with faces? It appears that when four or more of the same color match up, they vanish. Couldn't have described Puyo's better myself. You really are sharp. And you've got some serious skills. Lining those shapes up and erasing them? You made it look like a piece of cake! Ah, those shapes are what we call tetraminos. But first things first, you with the curly hair. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I'm Captain T of the SS Tetra. I'm also the Tetris King. Well, my name's Ringo. I'm just a normal junior high student who's crazy about Puyo Puyo battles. Wait, Wait a second. second. I knew, knew it. it! We, we have, have met before! pee pee -pee, pee Excellent. You managed to restore a bit of your bond with each other. Oh, it's the confusing outfit guy. Yes, th that's me. Anyway, that'll be enough battling for now. Whew. Although, I know this is out of nowhere, but I need your help. Some kind of strange phenomenon is at work. It's trying to merge the worlds of Puyo Puyo and Tetris yet again. And they'd already been separated once before. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it right there. Separated once before? Does that mean this isn't the first time this has happened? Uh, that doesn't matter now. While the two worlds had previously merged, the circumstances this time are different. Someone is behind all this. I can sense it. If the worlds merge, will be consumed by unimaginable chaos. And it seems someone is intent on unleashing such chaos. Oh. Oh. Sorry, this all just sounds like a huge deal. Honestly, it's kind of going over my head, but please, go on. Ringo, T, I need the two of you to work together. You need to discover what and who is causing all of this. Well, I'm off. You're what now? Jeez, I didn't mean to yell at him, but what the heck? So abrupt. Hang on, Mr. Fancy Suspenders. Are you going to help us or not? I'm sorry, Ringo, but I have matters of my own to tend to. There's an important task I need to take care of. And with that, I must return to my post. I know we'll see each other again, but for now... X, wait! I must leave it in your hands. Find out who's behind all this. Pee pee! Huh? Hmm. Hmm. Well, better get started. You're handling this quite well. Yep, I stay calm during extreme situations. It's a strong suit of mine. Besides, I can already tell this is going to be one wild adventure. I can't take it. I'm so pumped! Even outrageously impossible requests like this get my blood going. It's curious, I must say. I can't tell my left from my right in this strange place, and I've been given an unreasonable task. Yet here I stand, undaunted. Peep, peep, peep!
I'm here! Okay, so... We've been asked, politely, to basically save the world. All we have to do is find someone without any clue what they look like or where they are. Where do we even start? Hmm. Now that you mention it, what we've been entrusted with is on a much grander scale than we are. Then maybe undaunted isn't the right mindset. Might want to be a little daunted. Then first things first. We must find others who are willing to help us. Good thinking. Let's do that. Yippee, beep, beep, beep. Got anyone in mind, T? In fact, I do. I've been sending out transmissions via O. Unfortunately, communications seem to be taking a while. Beep, beep. So this little yellow ball, I mean, O, has the ability to send out transmissions? That's right. O is my trusty sidekick. Pee pee. You'll get a proper introduction later. Okay, then let's get my friends to help us out. We'll drag them along on this sketchy quest for who knows what. Interesting choice of words. Come on, let's go find them. Huh? Ringo? What brings you here? Looks like you brought some friends. A guy with one heck of an outfit and a little yellow... something. Oh, hey, I was just looking for you. Guys, this is Maguro. He's a fellow classmate and my childhood friend. Hey, everyone. I'm Maguro. So he's an acquaintance of yours, Ringo? Then we should ask him to help us. Though, I'm not sure how to explain our rather complex situation to him. Hey, Maguro. Let's have a Puyo battle. Right here, right now. And put your heart into it. Uh, what? Yeah! You've got to speak the right language to get through to him. The language of Puyo battles. Y I, I don't think it works that way. Sure! Let's do it! All right, straight to the point. Ready? It's Puyo, Puyo time! Yeah. <laughs> 
I think I get it now. So some mysterious guy shows up out of the blue and tells you that the world's in serious trouble. And now you, T, and his little yellow companion, O, are on a mission. A mission to find out who's behind all the bizarre stuff going on. But you don't have a single clue to guide you. Sound about right? Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. Beep, beep, beep. Something wrong? The way you communicate, it's on another level. And listening to you go over our predicament again is making my head spin. So much for being undaunted, huh? At any rate, count me in to help you out. Booyah! Maguro joins Ringo and T's party. I what? All right, let's keep it up. We've got more friends to find. Roger that. Wait a minute. What's our next destination? Upperclassmen standing over there? That's the one, the only, Risa Kuma. Uh, Ringo? Maguro? Risu Kuma, was it? Did he just say words? Beep, 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 beep. Probably. I see. Well then. What in the world is he? <laughs> I've never been able to figure that out. And you probably won't either. What, what kind of logic is that? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter what he is, as long as we can trust him. Of course we can! Reese is the best! He acts just as flashy as he looks, let me tell ya. But above all else, he's passionate about truth, science, and the pursuit of love. I just wanted to know whether or not we can trust him. Mm. At last, my grand experiment is in its final phase. My life's work has all led up to this moment, this experiment. I cannot let it fail. It will not fail! He's conducting an experiment? I certainly hope a random stranger doesn't try to talk to me. That would surely shatter my concentration. And then who knows what might blow up? That doesn't sound even a little bit safe. Well, go talk to him, T. Didn't you hear a word he said? Pee pee! It's fine, trust me. Reese is all about reverse psychology. But. Pee pee pee! No buts. Go on. Um. <laughs> excuse me? Huh? A random stranger is trying to talk to me! My concentration! I'm tremendously disturbed now! Why are you narrating everything? Kaboom! Ah! 
I don't know who you are or where you're from, but I expect you'll be taking full responsibility for blowing up my experiment. Now, prepare yourself! For what? Break a leg, T! This is the perfect chance for you to try your hand at Puyo Puyo! <laughs> Are we having a Puyo Puyo battle? I never back down.
Interesting. You seem to know a thing or two about love yourself. Um, thanks? Ringo, don't just stand there. Introduce me to this love prodigy already. This is T. He's joining me on my quest to who the heck knows. Well, well. And that yellow guy over there is O. Very good, very good. I believe I've heard all I need. I'd be more than happy to help you out. You rock! Thanks, Reese. Hey, Maguro. What's up? On a scale of 1 to 10, how strange is all this in your world? Way beyond 10, that's for sure. Hmm. Pee pee. All right, I'll ask again, just for the record. Maguro, Reese, have either of you noticed anything out of the ordinary? Or maybe someone suspicious? Well, I don't know if suspicious is the right word. But I saw this girl wearing a big red hat. I think she was over in the shopping district. I happened to see something in the shopping district myself. If I'm not mistaken, it was a young lady in blue armor accompanied by a yellow creature. She didn't look particularly threatening, though. What? Do they sound familiar, Ringo? Maybe. If you're talking about who I think you're talking about, then we have nothing to worry about. Though I am curious why they're here. Then let's go find them. Beep, beep. Yeah! You go on ahead. I've got some experiments to run. The world is behaving in peculiar ways, and I intend to find out why. If that's the case, then I'll stay and help, too. I'll see you later, Ringo. Got it. Thanks. Okay. No time to waste. To the shopping district! <laughs> You're facing me! Shopping district! We're here! There are so many different pieces on exhibit! What a lively place! <laughs> Those exhibits are actually goods that the shops are selling. Is this your first time shopping, T? Yeah, we spend most of our days on board the starship. We rarely ever go out. Pee 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 pee! Oh man, a starship? That sounds so awesome! Man, you're so lucky. I wish I could ride around in a starship. Maybe when we have some spare time. Right now we have a mission to focus on. But once that's over... You mean it? Aw, oh, yeah, that's all the motivation I need! Time to find our culprit! Maybe we'll get lucky and find them around here somewhere. I imagine they'd be wandering around, mumbling about worlds merging. You know, some total weirdo who's gone completely bonkers. Yeah, sure. As if something so astronomically improbable could ever... Merging of the worlds. Fun. <laughs> Is that... Our culprit? Pee pee pee! <gasps> Excuse me, miss. I've got kind of a weird question for you. 
You wouldn't happen to be in the world merging business, would you? Hmm. Whoa. The surrounding air is thick with energy. Yeah. I can feel it in my bones. She has to be the one we're looking for. It's too early. Hey, she's getting away! Hold it right there! <gasps> there are a bunch of Puyos and Tetraminos up ahead! It seems we must clear them out in order to pass through. <sighs> Doesn't look like we have a choice. Let's do this, Ringo! Yeah, let's go! Puyo Tetris Battle! That should be the last of them. Yeah, but we lost her trail. At least we were able to get a good look at her. That counts as a win. She certainly was quick. Pee 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 pee. Yeah, you're right, O. X likely sensed a suspicious presence. That's why he sent us here. If that's the case, then let's get moving. We've got a job to get done. Right. Beep beep! You're facing me. Why'd I get warped again? 
out here, though. Besides, a girl in a red Puyo hat could only be... Yep, me, Amity! And I'm gonna be a great magician one day! Oh, there it is! Your signature catchphrase. I'm really glad you're here, Ringo! There's so much I have to tell you! You. Oh, right. Let me introduce you. This is T. And he promised to let me ride in his starship one day. Didn't you, T? Uh, Ringo? Let's stick to basic introductions for now, shall we? This here's O. And believe me, he does a lot more than just being a cute yellow ball. Beep, 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 beep. Nice to meet you, TNO. Well, these introductions were less than stellar. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is T. I'm the captain of the SS Tetra, and I commit myself daily to Tetris battles in order to. Tetris? Why does that sound so familiar? Mm, perhaps it'll be quicker to simply show you. This is how it's done. Whoa! Say what now? A Puyo battle? It's actually a little different, Amity. But don't worry, we're still able to battle. Anyway, let's do this. Huh? Well, all right. Here I go! Let's battle!
Oddly enough, I feel the same way. Peep, 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 peep? It's almost as if this isn't the first time we've met. Peep, 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 peep. Oh, right, Ringo. I'm looking for someone. Yeah? Well, call me crazy. But I think we're looking for the same person. We are? So, let's keep on searching. Okay, then so make sure to keep your ears open. And listen real hard for a goo goo. Goo goo goo? Beep beep? Why do you keep saying goo goo? Should I be worried? Uh, how do I put it so you'll understand? Uh, okay, let's say I was looking for you. Then I'd keep an ear out for a pee pee sound. Make sense? I see. I think I get it. After all, O and I are comrades for life and totally inseparable. So, I suppose if one were to hear a pee pee, then. Hey, where's O? What do you mean? I thought you two were totally inseparable. It's fine. No reason for alarm. If I know O, he probably went. this way. Of a cute little friend, Carby. Goo! Goo 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 goo! You two sure are getting along well. Pee! Pee 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 pee! Oh, hi there! I'm Aro! This is my best friend, Carbuncle. Carby for short. Goo! Goo 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 goo! Goo goo! Pee 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 pee! Pee 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 pee! I wonder if he's ever had a you-know-what battle before. Can you ask him, Carby? Pee-pee! Goo-goo! Really? You have? Then let's commemorate this new friendship with a battle! Goo-goo?
Puyo's? What were you using? Beep beep! 